Hello guys and gals, if is F1 backwards here, back with yet another 100% achievement slash trophy guide. And in this one, we are getting the full completion for Wailing Heights. A game developed and published by Outsider Games and is available to you for just £9.59 in the UK or $11.99 in the US. Now this game actually came out in August 2018, but for some reason, there's not that much coverage and many guides on it, including an Xbox guide. So, you know, I thought I'd take it upon myself to give everyone an achievement guide because I'm just nice like that. Now, the achievements are easy enough, but there is one extra on the Xbox compared to the PS4, and that's for collecting an extra two items, which I, of course, get in this playthrough. Now, it'll take you about two to three hours to complete, and that is simply due to the length of the unbelievable, unskippable cutscenes. Now... In the game, you will actually see me speed up all of the cutscenes, which sadly you can't do. But, you know, just sort of bear with them best you can. But with that being said, then, let us begin. So, the premise of the game is that, basically, the band of the Deadbeats have died. And we need to get them back together by possessing them through music. Now, to be fair, like I said, the writing is absolutely tremendous, the art style is brilliant, and the gameplay is absolutely excellent as well. So you will enjoy this, as well as get the easy 1000 and the platinum. Tragic. After the tragic news of today's events, and the loss of the last surviving member of one of Britain's greatest ever rock and roll bands, the next 24 hours, GBB1 will be paying tribute to the deadbeats, to Fangs, Shaggy, Spectra, and Zed. May you forever be at peace. The fearsome foursome is reunited once more. So then, there'll be a wide variety of characters we'll be playing throughout the game, and the first one here is Sol Goleman. Goleman, sorry, not Goleman, Goleman. Um, and he's basically a ghost lawyer. Um, each character we possess will have sort of different abilities. So Sol can turn into a ghost, move faster, obviously be invisible, not being seen. Um, and these little sort of song bits that'll be happening at the bottom of the screen. That'll be a prominent feature of the game when we possess people. Um, with dialogue options, you just hold the A button to pick whatever answer you want. Hey. There's a lot of options that don't really matter. I see. Um, I seem to go through each dialogue option with each character just to, you know, just in case we miss anything. And first of all, first of all, then this is just like a tutorial level. So you'll sort of be walking around, um, pick up a cookie, and there'll be a zombie hand that'll ask for a cookie now. So when you do, say that you've got one, and well, he won't kill you. Not that you can, because you're in hell anyway. But again, yeah. So the main premise of this game then basically will be there's only really like one area in the game that we'd be going. And there's nothing that you can skip over, so we'll need to be collecting items, looking for items, swapping between each characters, and then moving forward with the game. But there's nothing that you can actually do to skip that ahead, if, if you get my meaning. But it's not too bad, it is quite easy, but like I said, it is quite a bit of back and forth. Right then. Ah, I see. Yamas. Ah. Oh. Just. Oh. Eight. Eighty. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, what? Anyway. Ah. As a man. So then, as you've just seen, the possession wheel. So, this is how we get to possess um, ghosts and people for the first time, then. So, when you collect three certain items in relation to that character, if you press Y, obviously we've only got three items so far, which will be a broken pen, the cookie, and the Soul Gulman card. 
that'll come up with sort of lyrics and a song and every time you uh, possess someone or even go into another character this song will play and you'll be possessed so that's why again like I said you can't really skip forward with the game you've got to collect sort of every item you can that's to be able to possess people Hang in there. Hang. Eighty years. Ex man. And our first achievement will unlock right here. There's only twelve, so there's not that many to get. But this is just basically for escaping the interrogation room right there. So go ahead, talk to the first minotaur there. And he'll basically ask you to uh, just. Turn into your little ghost mode, which you do by pressing the X button. Like I said, every character we possess, the, uh, the little abilities, you can enter them with the X button. So, go ahead, do that. Go over to where the second Minotaur is, and talk to each character. Obviously, you can't actually talk to them, but he reads their thoughts. So, it's basically the second Minotaur there, which the first one is after. Oh, he just arrested so you can talk to the other ones if you want, but they don't really do much or say anything. And when you're done with that, go back and talk to the first Minotaur. Hi! I know who... Who? Oh? It was your fellow police... Oh. I... That? Uh... Yeah. Ever? So exit out of here then, a tiny little cutscene will play. Now as you notice then, I just skipped through all the dialogue. Um, I just smashed the A button just to bash through all the dialogue. Obviously it's up to you if you want to have a look at the story, because the story is actually quite interesting, but obviously just save it for time there. So if you do get lost, as you can see there, there are a bunch of signs that will um, uh, take us to our way if you ever do get lost. So go up to this building here, which is the Town Hall building. Like I said, throughout the game, we're only be going to be entering about four or five buildings. It's a back and forth between every building. So we'll just do that. Now go ahead and talk to the receptionist here. She's quite the bitch, but it's okay. Any <laughs> I've been a, a club. Hmm. Anyway, you're BL better. Top floor. You know you're tethered to the ground floor. <sighs> Is. <laughs> Delivery from the crematory. About. Well. At the. Well. <laughs> oh, transmorphing in. Anyway, what? Something about. So yeah, the majority of the time, obviously, you can just blast through, pick up um, whatever the delivery guy just left there, some blood or whatever. But with the dialogue options, of course, you can... What I tend to do is just go through each dialogue option for every character, just in case I miss something. Um, but it's obviously just definitely worth doing that. So obviously, if you want to move faster, of course, as well, keep hold of the X button, uh, which will turn you into ghost mode, so you can move just that bit faster there. So this first little puzzle here, go and talk to this first woman in line. This goblin elf looking sort of thing. Again, just exhaust all the dialogue options, smash through it all. Mm. What's the matter? They m that's a can't didn't I thank God. Is there if you can Hey <laughs> No I not a ch why are you by the time I get to didn't you get and you so would you say love what's meh been waiting when I join is there if you well it's been has it I try to sort of take my time with the dialogue so you guys can keep up. So now we're going to talk to the second girl in line, the one with the headphones in there. Again, like I said, just keep blasting through every bit of dialogue option, but she's basically going to be the second character that we possess.
Written just... Yeah. Wow. You would not... So... Is there a bad... No, I'm just here because... Kimo... You'll think... Huh. Yama. What are you... It's this slot. Wanna hear? No, thank <laughs> You do realize... Sorry, I can't hear... Why are you... Um... If I... But... It's... May I... Ugh! Whoa! Hate! Okay! Don't... Him. Oh! Puppet! Hey! Have a medium day! Meh! Also, just in case you didn't notice, with every little song like that, normally there's an item that we pick up at the end as well, which will help us in our way. So now go talk to this woman, tell her that you want to chuck it in the bin for you, this coffee, and that'll get you the uh, empty coffee cup, which we need for possessing Lola. So now, now that we've got all three items, press the Y button. Um, you can put it in any order, I don't think it really matters. The cola, the, the coffee cup, the blood, and the... Uh, Lola, sign that will now possess her, and if you press the X button, she'll now turn into a bat. Oi, Lola, you. I know, I. Did I me? Me, me, me. That's the sp right. Yeah, also if you press the Y button every time you possess someone new, you can have a look at their comic origin real quick. Uh, I don't really do it for anyone, but they are quite interesting. So there you go, press the X button then. Uh, the, the directions are easy enough then, just press the right directional stick up, and we'll go into this um, attic here. Now, the first thing we'll be getting, if you fly up to the uh, rafters right above you, you will see a little collectible. And now that is... One of the two extra collectibles that we need for the X All Extras Found achievement for the Xbox, which you don't get on the PlayStation 4. So, yeah, th so there's only two collectibles extra we need to find for an achievement, and that is the first one. So, very important to pick that up before we leave. And then go to the filing cabinet. Uh, basically, it'll be too heavy for us, so we'll need to chuck the book out the window, bat style. Not exactly Batman style, but hey. Till do. How am I gonna? Hmm. I could drop here. Ew. What was that? Oh, you've got... It was out of... Who would... Somebody's coming. Who? That you... Wasn't me. Who? Who? Some bit... Probably some vamp. Ah, Ben's... Volume. Ah, uh, wanna chase that scent back? Tempted, but we're already late for a vegan of vegan vendredi. So there we go. Then the Dumb and Dumber style pairing of wolves there just took our book. So fly directly to the left, and that is like a little shortcut we can get to this uh, wolf pub called the Rough House. So go ahead, enter that, and we'll. Basically be charming the dumber of the two wolves into hey, hey. Hey. revealing the location of the book But it's actually the um, The actual other wolf that we will be possessing just a little bit later on, but go ahead talk to this guy for Now basically we're being just friendly with him. So obviously If he's telling you that he wants to tell you a story whatever just say yes be polite or just follow the dialogue options I do here nice now I never forget you but the voices on some of these characters, honestly, they creased me through the game. So that's a good job on that. Yeah, go on. There you go. So. Hey, so. Well, I... That was you. 
No. Well, yeah. Look, I stab. Really? Yep. So maybe. Are you saving this seat for anyone? My best friend. Yeah. Oh, any second now. Yes. Well, listen up. Wait. No, 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 bro. Far. Ooh. I mean, obviously, these uh, conversations can waffle on a bit. So, so abnorm. This is the wolf that we'll be possessing after we get uh, a couple of different items for him. Seriously. That's a home. John. Call me. Call me. Can I call? Can I call you? Oh. So that little bit of conversation is over for now. Now go and talk to the next wolf um, directly behind Abnorm there at the bar, and he'll just talk about balls. Uh, <laughs> whatever balls, eh? So good to see you. Whatever was the first thing that came into your mind, then I ain't judging you. Balls. Testy calls. Um, no, anyway, just <laughs> basically what we're doing is exhausting the dialogue options again. So every time he talks about balls, just go through absolutely every single dialogue option. The achievement might take a few seconds to unlock, so before you leave, just, you know, stay for a, just a couple of seconds just to make sure it unlocks, and obviously if it doesn't, then you're obviously missing one. But that's all we're doing to get this achievement. Beach. I draw the lane. Hey, sorry. I See you around. Balls are round. So, uh, yes. So yeah, as you probably just noticed then, the achievement did take a little while to unlock, but as soon as you exit out of the rough house, we're going back to the police station at the very beginning on the very right hand side of this tiny, tiny map. And basically just above the second minotaur on the prisoners there, there is a stick that we'll be grabbing. And we'll be smashing someone's balls in with that. Oh, actually no, you know what, just, oof. I'm just joking, that doesn't happen, but I just made myself feel quite sick with that. So, uh, uh, never mind. Anyway, exit the police station. We're going directly to the left, back to where Sol Gumen is. And the crematory. The crematory. Crematory? I'm going to call it the crematory. And to repossess somebody, as you've seen, they were just on the right-hand side. So press the Y button, and on the right-hand side, that's where you repossess them. And you don't have to actually listen to this whole song. You can press the A button when they're in the middle of... Um, being possessed again and you can just actually walk on by so press the X button to go into ghost mode then leave Lola where she is for now and we'll be going to the rough house and like I said again there's only one more building that we need to enter and we'll be just doing a lot of back and forth between them three but it's obviously also remembering where you left certain characters as well uh, I don't yeah. oh, I mean, don't get me wrong, these songs are quite catchy and pretty good, but you know, I just speed them up so you can enjoy them on your own. Uh, so we now get silver bullets added to our inventory, so press the white button and now press Abnorm, the silver bullets, and the drumstick right there, and that'll get us to possess Abnorm now, who turns into a werewolf. Pretty unsurprisingly, to be honest. So now what we'll be doing, so uh, you can press Y if you want to read the comic origin of Abnorm there, but we can just press X to transform into a wolf, and what we'll be doing now is getting the second out of two 
extra collectibles that we need for the achievement again on the Xbox, which you don't get on the PS4. So go back into the town hall, and basically where it is is just right at the very end of this room right here. Just press the A button when you're close to it, and that will be... Now, obviously, if you keep following the game, getting all the uh, things that I pick up as well, then that you should get the all extras found achievement at the end of the game. So with that, then go up to the bin. We'll be uh, sniffing that, and then a uh, sort of little faint line will appear, as you can see. You can't go too far ahead of it, because we need to... Uh, well, <laughs> it needs to catch up. A faint line needs to catch up with us, apparently. Um, and where this will take us now is to the next building the um solar saloon i think it's called the solar silver sanitation son of a bitch in yeah no solar saloon i think being a wolf even with all it's like so once we're inside, just go, there's a couple of double doors you can see just at the back there. So head back there, press the A button to enter, and then we'll be entering through another door, which will be directly just on your left hand, well, just on your right there, basically directly in front of you. And that'll put us through to the backstage, or the actual stage, sorry, where the actual piano is. And then we can exit, because now that back door is open for us, and we have basically now found the book. So go back to the rough house, which is where um, Ghoul Suman is, or Sol Ghoulman. Christ, I can't even remember his friggin' name. Uh, <laughs> so again, just press the Y button, you see all the characters on the right-hand side. Now, you can't possess them unless you're in, you know, a couple of metres distance from them, so if they're the other end of the map, you can't possess them, you have to be quite close to them. So this will be Act 1 complete then. Act 2 is a little bit longer, but just go backstage um, through the back door, the back entrance or whatever, and then uh, go back into the seating area, go all the way to the right-hand side, and that is Act 1 done and complete. Very nice, very easy. Like I said, it's quite... Uh, it's an enjoyable game. There's nothing that makes you feel rushed and pressured or anything like that so far it's just a nice relaxing quite funny game as well so all's well that starts well eh? OMG it's A to Z a disease in Wailing Heights, and she's a real zombie. If there was one member of the Deadbeats with real talent, it was A to Z. Unfortunately, taking a back seat as our zombie drug. <laughs> So then, Act 2 begins then, and we will be talking to a zombie right directly by the well. You'll talk to him once, the conversation will finish, and then talk to him again for yet another achievement to unlock. Nice and easy cheesy for us, this one. Now for some reason, this is the only zombie that can talk proper English throughout the game, which I found quite hilarious again. So, I mean, top writing job this. I really, really enjoyed the writing. For the game. Oh, do you see? Yeah, I'm willing until. What? Okay. So, I got her. What did I just get my.
Excuse me. Yes? It's just... What do you... Well... I can... Hey. <laughs> See what I'm... Again, for whatever reason, the achievement does take quite a while to pop, so just hang around until it does, just in case, and then we can be on our melly, merry, jolly way. So now we're going to be possessing Lola again this time. Again, press the A button so you can just carry on instead of waiting for the song to finish. Press X to turn into a bat, and then we can nip on. I wish the Minotaur would get out my friggin' way, that'd be nice. Although again, I tell you what, the, the songs are freaking catchy. I, I genuinely never got bored of possessing each character <laughs> because they did make me laugh. So now what we'll be doing, you see these two posters either side of the double doors we went through earlier. I don't know if this one matters, I don't think it does, but it is the one on the right which matters the most Looks as it will like get us a uh, ticket for Debbie the Zombie. So now we can go through the double doors right here. And we can have a little conversation with Debbie, who would be just on the stage. But we'll just nip through the song first. So you see Debbie just on the stage, standing on her own there. Again, talk to her, just exhaust all the dialogue you can for a minute. I think she's either... And we'll be going back to the rough house. So, yeah. So, as I said, you know, this game is is fun. Writing's brilliant. I mean, it looks fantastic. But there is, because there's only a couple of places that we need to go. It is sort of constantly back and forth. But, Afternoon. you know, not any less enjoyable, to be honest. Yeah. Well, then, you did. Look at him. Shaggy Watson. So once that another a couple of minute cutscene is over, we'll get a little guitar pick with Shaggy on it, which will come in handy for us. Just a little bit later on, so I don't, don't have a freaking clue what I'm doing there, just... I, do, I don't actually know. So we're going back to the Solar Silver Saliva Suite, or whatever it's called, the, 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 you know, the building on the left. Solar Saloon, sorry, that's the mother. And this time, instead of going through the double doors at the back, go directly to the right, and we'll be grabbing the star off the door. Look. Which... <laughs> I mean, every uh, zombies can see you, but I mean, I suppose zombies are slow, aren't they? I, I suppose they're. Um... No, I'm not going to say anything offensive. Not in this video. I'm going to leave it. Um, so we'll just go back out of there, and w now we will be going back to Sol Gulman, who we left outside the crematory, but we'll actually be talking to the guy directly um, by the side of him there, the guy on the phone. So again, exhausting all dialogue options for just a minute. Hey, Ganesh. Nice fun. No. Hey. No. Does that phone have... Yeah. 
Can I try some app? No. What apps do you have? Can you p Hey! So... I you need to get... Please, can I see your phone? What's your... I mean, what I do love is, these guys' accents are as British as British gets. Uh, we're going to be possessing so <laughs> Sol Gullman again. I mean, the proper English and the proper Northern Irish as well. Or is that regular Irish? Sorry, I'm not Irish. I'm a bit dull, so, you know, apologies if I offended anyone from Ireland who may be watching this with uh, some of the accents in this game. Um, basically, as Saul, we'll be going through the dialogue options with this guy again, and what we'll be doing, the guy will throw his phone in the bin, and we'll be collecting that. I won't be needing this any longer. I'm off to join the queue for Ganesh 9C. How rude. So go to the bin just to the right of it, collect the phone, and now we have all three items necessary to possess Debbie Druce, the first zo- Debbie- Sorry, I say Debbie Druce, that's actually a woman I used to work with. Um, Debbie- I forget her name in this game. Um, Debbie the zombie one. So, <laughs> so go back then to the Solar Saloon once again, and you should know what to do by now. Once you're by the side of Debbie, you just press the white button, Put all the items in any particular order, doesn't really matter, and that will possess her. And her special ability is that she walks a bit faster. That's it, so you've got to hold down the X button to walk faster. I mean, fair play, that song lasts <laughs> quite a few exhausting minutes. It's catchy first, but then by the, e by the end, you're sort of, you know, come on, you son of a bitch, hurry up. Anyway then, as Debbie, go on to the left, talk to the drinks guy. And uh, again, you can exhaust all dialogue if you want to here, but the main thing we'll be doing is asking for a couple of, uh, you know, basically all types of drinks. So what have you got on offer? and just ask for every single drink and you'll know you'll get to the right point when he says you see the poster right there the atomic the atomic blast the atomic ass blaster the liquidizer whatever the hell it is he'll basically say we haven't got any of that but again just go through all the dialogue options with the drinks anyway and that'll get us an achievement later on yeah what are hey Sure. A pork and chorizo noodle cup? <laughs> Do you grow? Hey. Sure. Surprise me. This is just special. What'll it be? Hey, can I? Sure. Squ Can I get out of stock? So yeah, we'll have no atomic ass blasters just yet. So go to the right hand side and uh, knock on the door. We'll talk to Ada, 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 Ada Z. And there is a very, very cleverly written book right by her. You see the book just by her? The A to Z of Ada Z. Brilliant. Honestly, I did um, piss myself a little when I first read that, but I thought, 
thought that was excellent. So again, just smashing through all the dialogue as we've been doing with each character we talked to so far then. Well, what do you mean? Ah, I really... What was... Oh, it was a new track of... It's called... My best... It's... Ow. Why couldn't you do it? But there's a... Girlfriend. I was being... That's a well... So... Funny stuff. Yeah. Some will... Is that the... Yes. Well, that wasn't... Hey. Anyway, I just means... Ah. Wow. Uh, correct. What do you mean? Why don't you pick one up and... Oh, uh, oh. Uh-huh. I'll... What's... Th just my life. Oh, what's clever? Hey. I'm not... Well. I meant the... Good chat. Let's do... By the way, the only negative I would have of this game is the voice actor for Debbie just doesn't really do it justice. She looks like she should talk more of a English sort of Beyonce or, or something, but, you know, she kind of talks like this and, uh, you know, I think that's a bit exaggerated, you know. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is anyway, yeah. So that's probably the only slight negative, but... We are now going up to the zombie by the well, by the police station. Um, so go ahead and just talk to him. He basically won't understand you because he actually talks proper English. And obviously you can't. Um, which again is another bit of fun in this game. Talk to the dodgy looking zombie right here. And he's basically going to sell us some stuff that uh, will obviously get another achievement as well. For trying to talk to <laughs> that zombie. So another fun achievement for us there. I've got, uh, I'm... Now I go back to the rough house, but we actually just need to repossess Lola, so don't go to the rough house, we just need to go back to the crematory, the crematorium, crematory, whatever the hell it's called, because we need to repossess Lola. So again, of course, before you leave this area, Go and talk to the zombie by the well if you forgot to pick up that achievement there. You shouldn't have if you've been following the video. So we now should be good to go. So go ahead and talk to the bouncer outside the crematory. And we'll be able to make our way in. Hey, how you Wait a minute. I know that. Let so again all we'd be doing on this bit then is talking to fang and his bodyguard there just exhausting all the options this one again can also take a few quite exhausting minutes so, buckle up, buckaroos. Yeah. Yeah. My actually it's not as bad. So Why does he want You know like he, I So what did garlic Shh. I thought it is Well then what Listen. only to well, Yeah ex death Wow and then bye Addictive to the Where da if I, I don't. Taste, euphoria, 
Keep it real. One love. Your me Yeah? It's it. No. Could you? So. So was. Really? What? It's been so hey! Call me leg. It. <laughs> what? Yeah. He's got to get. It's been so hey! Call me leg. It was. Yeah? From the bottom. <laughs> He's got to get. It's been so. Now, as I said earlier, obviously, I'm not sure if you need to actually exhaust all the dialogue options with every character, but you know, it's just to be on the safe side rather than accidentally missing something that we may not get an achievement for later on. So it's just to be better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? So now go over to the left, talk to the barista behind the till here, and he's going to give you some sugar, which we need to possess Ada because, you know, diabetes and stuff. Um... Now go ahead and repossess Debbie, the zombie lady, who's kind of hot for a zombie, to be honest. Which I probably shouldn't say because that's quite creepy, but screw it anyway. Talk to the dodgy, weird, drug garlic zombie guy. And what you're going to need to ask for is more garlic. And a minotaur will come by and chase his ass. Not his literal ass, mind you. I don't know if zombies have asses. He'll never hear it from this far. See, so yeah, actually, at this point, I forget where I put abnorm, and that's another problem with this game is you've got already about four different characters. Abnorm's in the rough house. If you've been following the video, he should be in the rough house for you too. But that can be a problem with you sort of concentrating on getting these items and doing one thing, and then you're like. Oh shit, where the hell are the rest of the characters? So, yeah, so that's that's what happens. And, and that's what happens if you try to um, possess another character from far away. You should, it just won't happen, so you've got to be quite close to them. Um, forget what I'm doing here. The, the, none of those are the password. You've actually got to talk to the guy behind the bar. And he won't tell you the password either, but we need to get a uh, chicken. Another item, a chicken. I gotta freshen up a bit. Hey, old buddy Shaggy, how's uh. Oh! That was the last mistake you'll ever make, Abnorm. Do you know how much effort it takes to get a bottle of that stuff? How much hardship and inconvenience I went through? I loved that stuff. It better be a really long time before I see you in the Full Moon Club again. I mean, a really long time if you know what's good for you. That went well. I'll take the blame for I've messed up, but you Make can't beg me back. So now I'm so again, don't bother going next to the door, you won't ever get a password from there. Uh, go and talk to the bartender, he'll basically tell you to go and fudge yourself. And we'll need to go back to the crematory now, because that is where we find Lola. And to be honest, most of where I found these characters were off the top of my head, which is a surprise for me, because my head's quite useless on <laughs> the majority of times. So here we go, outside the crematory, we're going to possess Lola once again. And basically, what we'll be doing now is Abnorm's friend, uh, Dumb and Dumber, will be outside of the rough house. So we need to basically get him to give up the password, even though I don't know why he just wouldn't tell his friend Abnorm in the first place. But whatever, that's, <laughs> that's the way the game wants to play. So again, smashing just through the dialogue, and there'll be... <laughs> 
Basically, we're going to need to tell him to poke yourself in the eye if you want to forget the password. Go and repossess Soul and then come back as a ghost and then he'll be <laughs> poking himself in the eye, which again is brilliant. Every Really? Really? Thanks, lady. I'll well, oh, she's so... And I tell you what, it's mad to think there are, that there are actually people like that in the world who have nothing wrong with them but poke themselves in the eye because somebody told them to. Um, anyway, like I said, we'll be going back to the Soulless Saloon, uh, repossessing Soul, going to ghost mode, and uh, we'll be getting an achievement for it as well, actually. Now, this is actually before we need to do what we actually need to do with the... Uh, dumber of the two wolves. Ow! Ow! How do I for? How do I? <laughs> and there he is then, poking himself in the eye, because that's how you forget things, apparently, if you believe it anyway. Now, for some reason, the achievement actually didn't pop up for me on screen, so that's why you see me sort of hanging about here for a bit. So if it doesn't unlock for you on screen, obviously, just make sure to go into the guide, go into the achievements, make sure it's unlocked for you before you move on. So it's all just a little bit of back and forth now, so we're going to get Lola to go back to the werewolf. Then we're going to tell him how to actually forget the password. And then we're going to get Sol back, and then we're going to... Uh, he's going to basically talk to him in ghost mode, and yeah, so it's just a bit of back and forth at the minute. Hi there, Miss. Who oh, no. Did my pa- No, no. Well. I sing the phrase out loud. Really? Really? Thanks, lady. writing he can't handle that and broken pens that's what makes him snap he's tough and he's slick and his moves are tight but he can't get away from the farmer's sight but a silver bullet from the farmer's gun doesn't stop him going on the chicken run So now we have finally, finally gotten what we need out of him. Now we go back to outside the crematorium or crematory and now we'll get uh, Abnorm back. So now we've got all the items necessary that we need. Down, but his paws were just as quick. So where in this doggy doggy world did Abnorm lose his stick? Sorry, that song's epically catchy as well. 
So back to the rough house, talk to the bartender once again and uh, show him the chicken. And then you're allowed in the back room now, so all is good. All is good. Every time you enter this back room, though, they do play this sort of short song. Luckily, it's not like a couple of minutes long, like A to Z. Catching, catchingly bored you to death. So what we need to do in this room then is we're basically going to pass out. See the uh, there's basically a big bit of moonshine at the back there. So just uh, keep pressing A, keep pressing the dialog button on that until you basically pass out. What do you say, Al? Yeah, yeah, go dude. Hey, there's just a run. How the hitch to that? So, yeah, sadly, Abnorm is a bit of a shit drunk. Um, just like me, though. So, you know, I'd end up in the same spot if, where every time I get a drink. So, anyway, we're going back to the rough house now, but we're just taking control um, of Debbie again because. Because we will be going for another achievement. Now you remember in the Solar Silver Sweet Son of a Bitchin' Saloon. With the um, guy handing out all the drinks. Or the guy on the left. The bartender or whatever. Well basically that Atomic Ass Blaster drink is now in stock. So we can just drink that. And get our achievement. Lovely. I really really don't want to know what a zombie Atomic Ass Blaster tastes like though. What? You know any good limerick? Ha! Ha! Prepare yourself for this. You might. Let. No. 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 Hey, can I? Sure, squelch face. On the. Can I get the um? Ah, girl. Hey, I. Hang on. What'll it be, Debbie Cakes? Although I suppose if you're a zombie, you can't really uh, shit yourself that much. Can you? I don't know. Do, do, do zombies really crap themselves? I've never played or seen anything that... And I've never seen a zombie um, shit itself. So, hey, who knows? Um, <laughs> anyway, back to the rough house. Now we're going to take control back of Abnorm again. We're going back into the back room so talk to the bartender once again right here don't ever uh, look at the door because there's no point uh, basically with that atomic ass blaster empty cup we can now get the rock that's actually inside this machine here It should be a fish. Where? Sorry, uh. Oi! Oh, just the. Uh, no white. So once you grab the rock, head outside. We're going back to the solar saloon suite. Saloon suite. And we'll be taking control back of Lola. Now, at this point, especially in this point part of the game. You sort of, this is even more back and forth than usual. It's just taking control of one character, do one thing. Have to go all the way back somewhere, take control of another character, do another thing. It's so it's very well. Like I said, well, you, I mean, you should already be used to it by now. But uh, yeah, this point especially is just back forth, back forth. It's like a real crap game of tennis, sort of ish. But anyway, when we are going as Lola, we're going to head out and we're going to head back to the rough house now where Debbie is. So we need to take control of Debbie now. In fact, sorry, we're going to the rough house, uh, but we're actually giving the rock to the werewolf first before we go inside. So, you know, close enough. I, I gave you almost close enough right information, so... Cookie! They thought we were friends! 
So we finally got a disease right arm now, which is great, or whatever arm it is missing. It's all the same stuff apart from right or left, isn't it? <laughs> and so we're going to take over as Debbie now, go back to the solar suite and go to the very right where you will find A to Z and another beautiful A to Z song will beautifully happen for the next couple of minutes for you. Slap this on and get back. It honestly sounds hilarious, doesn't it? <laughs> when songs are sped up. It creases me every time. But anyway, finally, with that done then, now we can uh, possess A to Z, but literally we're doing one thing with her. So get the A to Z record, the cold heart, and the uh, sugar packets, or candy. And like I said, you will possess her, but we're literally doing one thing with her, and then we never have to use her again, so bit pointless but you know there we go So you've got the A to Z contract, what we need to do then is grab the A to Z of A to Z book and also the dead flowers right in front of you, so go ahead and grab those two. <sighs> so then, you don't actually need to go in here, ignore that. Um, but what we actually do need to do is wow. just go ahead and possess Lola. And that's all that we need to do with A to Z. So all we have to do is collect two things. Now we've got to uh, just take over Lola. And then she grabs a spotlight from where Debbie and Abnorm are standing in the Solus Saloon Suite. So, yeah, she was fun for about 30 seconds. So once you're back here, then you'll find this spotlight just above the piano there, so just go ahead and grab that. And now we'll need to go and repossess Sol Gulman, because we're going to be doing a few things in the police station now. So we're sort of about, we're about half hour from the end now on the video, which is about maybe 40 to 50 minutes for you, obviously depending on the length of the last couple of cutscenes that we've got, but we are coming up to the end now, so... You know, still, quite an enjoyable game so far. Also, if you wonder why that I'm not really talking as much through the sort of second half of this video is because there's not really much to talk about until we get to certain points such as this one.
because as you've seen so far, it's just quite a bit of back and forth. It's quite an easy amount of things that's just happening in this game so far. But now we will be interrogating a zombie. Basically, this um, minotaur here will give you <laughs> some paperwork, some zombie paperwork, <laughs> which again is cleverly written because the paperwork has zombie written on it. So you've got to file that away. And what we need from this zombie then is his jacket. But again, what we're doing is just slamming through all the dialogue as we normally do. But even more so this time because we'll be getting another achievement for exhausting every dialogue option. So before you leave, make sure to exhaust every dialogue option if it hasn't unlocked for you already. Can I take your gun? <laughs> Have you been treated well? <laughs> Oh, this is stupid. It's bad cop time. You're in a... <laughs> Start talking. <laughs> Can we turn this... A... <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> People like you make... <laughs> Oh, this is It's home time. Enjoy. I'm s So yeah, make sure that unlocks before you head out. Now we'll go and talk to this Minotaur, and basically the dialogue option we need, again you can go through it, it makes no difference, but the one we need is basically this zombie isn't cracking, go and turn up the heat. And the next bit after that is very important as well, because we need to be getting three limericks from uh, different characters, and the first one is from this Minotaur. So once you ask him to go and turn up the heat, he'll uh, nip off and come back. Make sure to talk, talk to him again and ask him, does he know any limericks? It'll be a bunch of gibberish, but that'll be the first limerick done. So very important, before you leave this area, talk to the Minotaur and ask him for a limerick. Any progress on finding? Actually, keep up. Is everything okay now? Good. Hey, there. Who's the he? Then bought something. Something. Whatever. So there you go. Then I honestly have no idea what he just said, but that's our first limerick out of three done. Nice and easy. So go back into the interrogation room now with the zombie is. He'll have taken his jacket off. So. The, uh, we need to take his jacket. We don't need to smell it. We don't, <laughs> don't need to do anything for evidence. We need to make sure to ask him that we need to take it for evidence. And you can't actually leave with the um, evidence on you. So you see the pile of evidence boxes just the, at the front forefront here. Just leave the jacket there and we'll go and get Abnorm now to come and uh, sniff that up for us. Don't forget the f I'll make it. So yeah, just all the way to the left side of the map, then all the way back to the right side of the map. And we'll be filing that zombie paperwork very soon as well. So, like I said, yeah, it's not it's kind of to the end of the game where not that much more is happening. Like I said, it's just sort of uh, repossess one character, get an item, take it somewhere, repossess another um, repossess another character, take a different item somewhere else. So there's just not really that much going on now as we head 
uh, towards the end of the game. But we've got the jacket now anyway, so we can head back out. Or rather, we've smelt the garlic on the jacket, which is the whole point of this bit. So follow the line, and it's just next to Town Hall. So press the A button there, and Abnorm will get out the garlic patch. Because obviously that's what we've been needing to do, is finding out where he stashed the secret garlic, which is basically like Class A drugs in this world. Which, you know, I don't know, I suppose it's never necessarily a bad thing. Depends how messed up you want to get. Chopping up garlic and sticking that up your nose. Don't, no, 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 I'm just joking. Don't do that. That's, <laughs> that's got to be worse than cocaine and stuff, right? Oof, Jesus, that is, ugh. That makes me want to spew just thinking about it. But anyway, once we've done that, then you see the line. We we need to be repossessing Soul Gulman, I think, again. Because I'm pretty sure at this point, Debbie's also uh, surplus to requirements as well. Don't think we think we might need her for one more thing potentially. So we're going to the town hall next. We're finally going to be um, filing away that zombie paperwork, hilariously. But upstairs is where we're going to find Spectra, the final member of the Deadbeats. And what we actually need to do is a couple of things that we need to do up here. And that involves playing around with the printing press. Um, yeah, you'll just see right now. Welcome. You turned on. I did. <laughs> Hey, no any good admittance is you turn I d Hey Ad <laughs> Listen Hello is someone there I wonder what poor well, Oh this place but maybe I'll because that Ah, let I Ooh, won't be do what the go now. That's the best advice. Eh, just go. Is please because I have just come. That's um, okay. Spectre. Yeah. Oh no, please. But this is. I'm. No! Why do. Why can't. Shut the door. But you're. I. But you used to. Stop! I stopped. Why? This. It turned. Exposed! I lost. I. Well, that is. Spot. Hey! Understood. So. No! Oh. I don't. Well, be more than it. Being alone. Easy. More than it. What do you do? Paperwork. No, I. I live by. Sorry. Do. No. The. I don't. Oh, come on. Surely there. No. So. Like. Well, yours. I don't like. And tonight. Ready. Imagine. At So smash through all the dialogue with her, she's basically gonna hate everything you say until we now give her the book of A to Z, A to Z of A to Z. So once she finishes babbling on about being scared about everything, just, uh, yeah, go ahead, click Y, click the A to Z of A to Z and now, sh now we can turn on the light and do the things we need to do.
So first of all, come around the other side of the print and press here, you will press a button which will basically change the headline um, for Fang or, uh, no, Leg End, sorry, ah, bloody all the same, all the same crap in it. So he changes it to bearable and basically you just turn on the light there. For some reason I get really confused at this point, so I, you can pick up one of the newspapers which says Leg End Unbearable. But to actually able to change the um, print and press to leg end bearable, you actually have to turn on the print and press, which is literally just by, you just turn it on, which is directly in front of me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's the other side of the print and press where we were. It's not this side, but it is just the other side. That's how you turn it on, and that's how we get out of here. And for some reason, I missed that for a while. So, <laughs> please don't take as long as I did. Wait, here we go then. I actually, I finally figured it out. So, that's all you have to do is turn it on. Now, before we leave, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this earlier. Before we leave the receptionist downstairs, make sure to talk to her and ask her for another limerick. Just in case. I forgot to mention it earlier. You probably see, you did see me do it anyway, but just in case, before you leave, ask her. She'll just say something about being prohibited or whatever. And that will be a second limerick out of three. So the third one will be coming up very shortly as well. So now we are on another repossessing mission. Go to the crematory with Lola. And now we can basically go inside the crematory for the moment. This will all be cleared soon though. So any character can go in there. But it is literally only Lola that can go in there at the moment. So with that then... You just, basically all we're doing then is presenting, we're going to be able to um, possess Fang now, actually. And it did take me a while to, <laughs> did take me a while to figure this one out for some reason. But, um, yeah, so bring, bring up Y to bring up the possession wheel, eventually. There we go then. And then you'll get the, um, the Fang record, the garlic and the uh, interview or the review. And that will possess Fang. And again, just like A to Z, we're only going to need him for literally one thing and then he's done. Like I said, the, the last couple of characters in the game we possess are pretty... Uh, pretty useless. Um, I say sort of useless, he is going to come in handy for us right here, so immediately go up the stairs then, everyone will now clear out, immediately go upstairs, and the woman sitting by the desk, all you got to do is ask her for a limerick, and that will be the three limericks done, and the achievement unlocked. There what? That's not right, I'll forget the rest. I... So what? So just in case you're missing one, remember it was the Minotaur in the police station as Saul Goulman you need to ask for, um, the, the receptionist in the town hall and the lady just upstairs then. Just in case you missed one of them, that is the th only three that you need. So we can go back outside as Fang, basically we're done with him now, so we can just go and repossess uh, um, Abnorm. Also, for some reason, trying to get in the doors as Fang's back version just can be a bit finicky. So, you know, just be aware of that. Just have to get right down to the ground. So, I don't know why. It's just, it's just the way it is. There are worse things that will happen to you in this game, though. So, don't worry about it. Yeah, um, right, so now we are abnormal. Basically, we're going back to the old Raffenhausen. Did Abnorm lose his stick?
So now then, we've got to be repossessing Shaggy, the big old wolf in the back. So we need to go into the back. We basically need to make like a like a perfume of some weird kind. So we'll get a toilet seat from this next song here, and then we'll be at the bar, and we've got to basically order a <laughs> broccolini, which sounds just uh, it probably tastes just as disgusting as it sounds. <laughs> oh, uh... Not cool, man. Too far, just too... Can't shut the... What concert? Hey, guys, now that that dork abnorm's gone... So go ahead and talk to the three uh, female wolves at the table first, and they'll basically be turned on by the table for... Somehow, although I tell you what, there's plenty of human females to get turned on by that stuff as well, but yeah, I'm not judging. <laughs> anyway, they'll talk about a uh, broccolini drink, which is turning them on or whatever. Now we can go and order it, because we also get the empty cologne bottle, which we also need. Show your face around. Yeah, and can a guy get a... Depends on the... I'd have a... Broccolatini? <laughs> hey, guy. Oh, Norm. It's not for sure. One dull. Huh. Let's see. Braggart. A girly dr. Huh. Oh. So from this point now then, we can finally head in as Abnorm into the crematory because obviously everyone's left so there's nobody that can stop us. But he is a wolf and I'm sure he could have just fudged everyone up anyway if he really wanted to but that's for another game and another story so now we just go upstairs to where the lady was earlier where we got our third limerick and to the very right hand side then we're going to get some secret items which we need for our despicably hanging cocktail by the way when we go downstairs my advice would be to press x to change back into abnorm's normal form because if you try leaving the door in this form, if you just keep running straight through, I actually went through the map and had to restart the game. So that would be my advice. Either be very careful or just go back into Abnorm's normal form to better to be safe than sorry. You know how it is. So now then, now we've got all the items we need. Now we can go back into the rough house. And so what we need then to put in is the broccolini, the toilet seat and fang socks all into the Lots empty bottle. If Muhammad won't come, if that gay... So yeah, if you do have any troubles, just move over to the right a bit more until you can see like a bigger sort of bubble there. And then that'll bring out the um, dialogue option that we need. And it's the dead flowers, sorry, not the toilet seat, <laughs> which we need to add into the uh, smelliest of colognes. Lock and go. That's true. Lock and go. Let's try. That's it. The perfect vest. I'm not. I should. You know what, it's not even the toilet seat, sorry I did lie to you, but hopefully just follow what I did on screen anyway. <laughs> I just got that. So now to possess Shaggy, we need the um, guitar pick, the empty cologne bottle, and then the, uh, well actually it is the toilet seat for this one. So it was the toilet seat to possess him, not to add into the bottle, but yeah, you know, close enough, isn't it? <laughs> but he was caught on the cheek, where is toilet seat? And the steel sense of quite being so waggy. Ah, so, I mean, hey, that, that's way, right? Where's that? 
and then Shaggy doesn't turn into a jerk. Now go directly behind you onto the records and we'll be getting a record which we need to possess Spectra as well. So very important to do that. And you think possessing Shaggy would actually be really something fantastic, and it's actually not. He's just a fatter, slower version of Abnorm, in all fairness. But we get the record, so we get something from him. But just like Ada Z and Fang before him, pretty useless at this point. But now we are just possessing uh, Soul Ghoulman again, and we'll be heading straight back into Town Hall upstairs to get ourselves a bit of Spectra. So get your possession wheel out then, it is the spotlight, the um, record and the amp that will possess Spectra and now this is the end of Act 2 and basically as long as you've got the two collectibles that we found very early on in the game, the all extras found achievement as you can see will unlock right here and the Act 2 achievement will unlock as well. So Act 3 is very 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 short as you can imagine and it just involves basically um, beating one boss with the um, possession wheel that we've been <laughs> knowing that we've been doing throughout the entire game. Spec, tra, brow, spec, tra, brow. <laughs> So that's the longest cutscene in the game done. Uh, what we'll basically be doing now, I'm um, fast forwarding um, the fifth Deadbeat Monsters song right here. All we'll be doing is getting items from those songs. And then all you'll need to do then is just copy exactly what I do in the what we put in the possession wheel. And that's all you've got to do. So I kind of try and take my time just so you can uh, keep up with me. So for instance then, obviously this first bit will be the zombie, the nose, and the we uh, vampire. Um, yeah, so just copy exactly what I do on screen, and you should be golden. Although the singing on both of these guys is yeah, pretty awful. No offense. Hey, he's ready. Bloody stop off, one. You'll have to do worse than that, Pinkle. Two off! Don't forget your paperwork. File it at Town Hall. Cause if you miss your deadline, there'll be no reviews at all! Let's remind them! Shows appreciation and your coffee's cold as well. And you can't deal with the werewolf, they don't trust what they can't smell. Oh. He's right. Ah. Forget 
Born the if you're feeling soulless, a zombie's guaranteed to fill your heart with soulful song. Those lyrics are what you need. <laughs> That's a very eloquent point. Finkelstein! There's a back room in the rough house, the moon club's just for you. Banjos, flutes and fiddles play, the music's right for you. than legend seriously and there we go then guys and gals that's it a nice easy thousand or platinum all done for you hopefully you enjoyed this guide hopefully you enjoyed the game as well as much as i did thanks very very much for watching again hope it helps if it does don't forget of course to like comment and subscribe and i shall see you in the next one big love <laughs>